leads to death. Yet Captain Midnight takes his place. Then, escaping the clutches of Ivan Shark's men, Midnight courageously returns for their capture. But fate intervenes, and the famous pilot faces extinction. Hadn't we better help him? He said no. and are bringing him in. I wouldn't dare. The chief would have me rubbed out. He won't get a chance to if you'll do as I say. Okay. Number eight calling S1. The radio. I'll take the liberty of answering it. Number eight calling S1. Come in, S1. S1 to number eight. Come in, number eight. Go ahead. Emergency, S1. Emergency. Have Edwards a prisoner. Also important other information. Where shall I take him? Come in. Bring him to the country hideout at once. That is all. What does he mean, country hideout? He told me where to take you. Then get going and don't try any tricks. Remember, whatever happens, you'll go first. Well, my dear, we seem to have worried needlessly. One of the men has just informed me that they're bringing your father here immediately. You can't fool me, Dr. Jordan. I heard everything. You're in league with those men. I'm leaving here at once. You'll stay here and greet your father if you want him to live. Get in that room. Go on, you little no. fool. Get in there. <laughs> I want you to wait on the Edwards girl. Perhaps you can make her tell more than she has. I'm sure I can. Red, you listen to me. Yes, sir. Hello, sister. You and I are going to have a little powwow. I'm not discussing anything with you. You're wasting your time. We'll see about that. And then set the trap in the basement. Visitors coming, huh? Yes. Borgman warned me over the radio. He used the code word. I hope it's Captain Midnight. I'll fix it in a jiffy. Hurry. I've got to get out of these things. You'd better tell me what I want to know. I'd hate to spoil that pretty face of yours. How many times must I tell you I know nothing about my father's invention? Well, I don't believe you. I'll make you talk. <laughs> now will you talk? No. I hope you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm driving you to headquarters. You'd better. Look, we're expecting Borgman. Let him come through. 
Then lock the gates and don't let anyone in or out without permission. I got you. Oh, stop. I can't stand anymore. Then you'll talk? Yes. Yes. I'll tell you. Well, tell me. The men are all set, sir. Good. Get below in case you need it. Yes, sir. She must be in the ground. She went that way. We'll get her. Quick, man, quick! She got off the wall. Get a car and bring her back. something like this. They're planning more sabotage. I heard them talking about planes, dropping bombs, destroying plants. Anything definite? No. Well, there's no chance to do anything now but run. You, get over and back, Joyce. Hop in and drive. Maybe they're still in that car. Get down there. I can't make it. This is a break. Get in and turn this car around. Yes, but... Come on, do as I say.
lane for the getaway, Bowman. Now you'll take the rap. If you sat there to stay by the car, they wouldn't have made a getaway. We gotta get to headquarters. Come on, start walking. This should be our big chance to round up the gang. Are you sure this man's the leader? He must be. He gave all the orders and handled everything. We'd better try the wall. Someone coming over the wall. See if you can see who it is. Well? It's Captain Midnight and the girl. He's coming into my trap at last. The girl, too. He must have been waiting for her. Where are the men? I don't know, but no matter. We'll be ready for him. Red, get to the basement. Yes, sir. Jory? Now, do your part, and it's sure to work. I hope so. Hurry. Dr. Jordan, he's insane. He tried to kill me. Untie me. I know where he's hiding. Now talk fast. Where is Dr. Jordan? Well, well, I'm the owner of this house. chief officials are concerned, yet Ivan Shark's depredations continue. He even interferes with official business. But can his evil work go on forever? Shall nothing prevent his criminal actions? Perhaps the police. But wait, you can learn all in Menacing Fates, next week's pulse-raising chapter of Captain Midnight.